All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today is going to be a PvP day in the Great League. So what we are going to do here, that is the wrong Gligar. So let's change that. But I have gone and got a Shadow um, for Alligator. And I've also got a Gligar Shadow as well. So let's see what we can do with this team. Obviously taking in our Cresselia as well. Cresselia is still one of the my best Pokemon for the Great League. I think Registeel is the best like overall Pokemon. So we do might have to look at investing into one of them. But for now, let's get straight into this fight and hopefully we can do some good stuff with this. Uh, Drapion. I feel like it's a bad matchup. It is a bad matchup. Okay. So let's go. Oh, oh, I messed up. Okay. Well, it's going to have a poison move, so we're going to have to block this. So, we're in a bad way straight off. Oh, it used a bug time move. Okay. Well, let's try and get through this without getting killed. I feel like this is a loss already. I've used... I did a bad swap out, basically. I should have gone to Gligar to get the um, ground-type move off. Okay, let's block that as well. Obviously, we have used one of his shields, so we are not at a disadvantage, but we do have also, you know, he thinks I'm probably going to use Grass Knot here, so Future Sight might go through. It did, but it didn't do a lot of damage. It's not really what we needed. I feel like this one's already a loss. And I think that's it. So we might have to, if our Gligar does die here, we are just going to scoop out of this one. Oh. It didn't even, like, touch it. Fair enough. And Gligar does have a 20%, like, defense down as well. So that would have done a lot of damage. Alright, so let's just move to our for alligator here. Obviously, he will probably not block this. I would assume he's not going to block this. Yeah. So we'll just keep going until we can't. Obviously, Empoleon is steel, so having a dig might be okay. Oh. No, I think we've lost this. So let's just use our aerial ace here. Obviously, he doesn't have any shields either, so we could get away with this, maybe. Oh, no, we definitely lost. It was closer than I thought it was going to be, though. I thought he would have rinsed us there. I think going to Cresselia straight away was a... Like, I did misclick, but it was a bad choice. Um, I am trying to get to rank 20, because I've never actually reached there before. Um, and I don't think this was a bad team. I am going to start off with a Cresselia though. Seems to be a better Pokemon to start with. So you can get your Future Sight or your Grass Knots off really quick. Or save them for the future. And um, for whatever Pokemon he's going to bring out next. There does seem to be a lot of um, water types. So it's not a bad way to go. Um... And we are already getting rinsed. So let's use Grass Knot here. We need to just basically run the shields down. Because Tokus is doing a lot of damage compared to us. We are going to block this. Now I am tempted to swap out two for Alligator. Just because then we've got our um, we've got our Cresselia with a future site for when we do eventually get past their shields. So yeah, I knew you wouldn't block that. I'm going to though. Togekiss is such a good Pokemon. I'm gonna have to get one sorted for myself. Obviously, it doesn't have, like, a very fast move. 
So it can be its downfall, but Aerial Ace is a medium, like, speed move. So... Ooh, that was close. We should actually do quite a lot of damage here, because he hasn't got a shield left. Yeah. So we're going to go straight into a Grass Knot, which should kill. And then we've got two Pokemon against one. So let's hope it's not too much of a... Oh. Okay, should be not relatively easy, but I would say we should win this. I say should. You never know in PvP. Um, let's go straight out to our Gligar here. Do we have a shield left? No. So, here's a ground and fire. Oh, no, ghost and fire. So, this could do a lot of damage. Yeah. So, we about to say I needed to get that dig off. This should basically finish this. I don't think the Marowak will survive. No. Okay. We have actually got a second good team. So, I'm really happy with this. Uh, PvP is strongly becoming one of my things I do just while I'm like sat at my like, desk at work and my lunch break and things like that. So having a good set of teams is what you want. Obviously, I'm moving into playing, like I'm hoping to do some Ultra League stuff as well and Master League. Um, I need some more Master League Pokemon and I also need some more Ultra League Pokemon. So I will have to look into what is the best Pokemon to look like get maxed out because I have a lot of Pokemon that I can max out it's just I don't have the um what's the word the, not only the Stardust but the candy for some of them so I do kind of want to maybe use some rare candies on them so he thinks the next move is going to be grass so let's future sight this and hope that he doesn't block this Yeah, I, did. I thought he'd. I thought he'd do that. To be honest, but I don't know how many attacks this Whimsicott's got. I am going to swap out to for alligator here, just to get those couple of moves off. So we should be able to get a Hydro Cannon off near enough straight away. Okay, I should have maybe used Ice Beam here. Um, just depends on what does more damage. Obviously, we do have Stab with a Hydro Cannon. So, second Hydro Cannon. I would assume he blocks this. Yeah. He doesn't want to lose his Blastoise, and I can completely agree with that, because I don't really want to lose for Alligator here. Um, but if we can take down this Blastoise without too much of an issue... He should have two Ice Beams maybe sat there. Um, I'm not going to waste time because um, in the past I've tried to get to the next Pokemon without using our move and I've died from it. So I'm just going to take what we can. And I can see exactly why he didn't want to keep off for Alligator on the board because this should kill from here. And the difference in power between normal for alligator and shadow for alligator with this moveset seems to be incredible. Like we were not winning many fights with our for alligator, and this is just doing what <laughs> what it should be doing. So I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, let's go straight into this with another fight. This will be our third, no, fourth fight, I think. Um, so see what happens. Like I said, if I can get to the rank 20, I will. Um, but I am still learning at the same time. Um, we have got a bad uh, set of Pokemon here. Because obviously he has Night Slash. So I am just going to block this. And I feel like we should... Wow, Night Slash is a really fast move. I forget how good Greninja is as well. 
because Greninja does like is a really good Pokemon to have. Um, especially with its two moves, it's really good. Uh, I'm going to keep one Grass Knot actually, and go straight into our. Ooh, it went to Ferrothorn. I should have gone for Ice Beam here. That was bad on my part. Yeah. And now we're getting hit by super effective moves. He probably won't even need to use his charge move to kill me. Power Whip should just wipe me from here. So we are in a very bad place. Um, we will try and get an area lace off. Before Power Whip. But I don't... Mm, okay, we did get one. I don't know how many shields he's got left though. Ooh. We have zero, don't we? This is going to be super effective as well. I think this is a loss. Um, sometimes you don't have the Pokemon and you can't really do much about it. Greninja. Yeah. At this point, it's a loss. Yeah. There's not much we can do. He's also still got a shield left, so this will be blocked. So, after this move, I am just going to run. Because there's no way I can win this. He had a counter to every single one of our Pokemon, so it is not a good... Uh, wasn't a good matchup, which I'm not too happy. Maybe we're just too weak to grass. Um... Something we can look at in the future. Maybe take Cresselia out and have Venusaur instead. Something like that. But let's get down with our final fight and hopefully we can uh, at least get a win for the final matchup. Obviously, this is a bad matchup too because Lantern. Oh, Mandibuzz. Okay. Um, I am going to block that see we're not even in a good place because Mandibus didn't block the grass move um, I do want to use ice beam but I also don't because they're a lot harder to get to um, so let's just hydro cannon our way through this so he blocks every single one and then we can look at getting an Ice Beam up once he blocks his second. Because we still have a shield too. So we are in a good place against this Mandibuzz. I uh, don't know what moves it might have. It might have Snarl, Dark Pulse, Aerial Ace. I'm guessing. Yeah. So it's used Aerial Ace twice. Ooh, it's going to have Thunderbolt. That's bad. Yeah. Saw that coming a mile off. Um, we do need to take... What? I think we lose this one too. I think we don't have fast moves to take this down. And I think that's really bad for us. And Lantern's bulky as well, so this isn't even going to kill. Yeah. Bad place to be at. So. We shall see. Because we haven't got Gligar out yet. So we can go straight to Gligar. I don't know why it took so long for that to go through. Don't know if this guy's quit or lost connection. Or we have. I swapped to Gligar here because I know it's going to, probably going to use a Dark Pulse. Shadow Ball. Okay. Maybe we can pull this off. Maybe. It all depends on that final Pokemon. Or not. I think this might kill from this range. 
or very close to. Yeah. Okay. I know why it's kept mandibles. Obviously, it needs that dark pulse. And I don't think we can kill. Yeah. It's a very unfortunate case that we just don't have some of the moves to take down these Pokemon. I need to look into a fire type for definite. So maybe Shadow Daramaka might be good. Um, I don't know. But we also have... Um, give me two seconds, I'll bring up my Pokemon list. All right, guys, and we are back. So I just wanted to show you some of our Great League Pokemon that we do have. So these are the nine that we use. Obviously, I do have a Registeel here. I just don't have the move, um, the Rare Candies yet to get Focus Blast, which makes it a bit more OP in the, the Great League. So I will look into that at some point. Um, but it does have Lock-On, it does have Zap Cannon, it just needs a uh, Focus Blast. So we'll look into that. But then also, we don't only need just 100. Uh, we do, actually. We just need a few more candies. Um, another Pokemon I want to look into is Annihilate. That seems to be quite popular, as I've been doing some uh, PvP as well. Um, also, a Pokemon that we do have for our own roster here is Shadow Glade with Psycho Cut, Close Combat, and Leaf Blade. Quite popular apparently, so I'm really looking forward to using this. Um, and obviously we do have the Sh Shadow Kyogre. I'm going to get Shadow Groudon soon, so I'm hoping to get one for the Great League for that as well. Just in case it is good. But looking at the Pokemon list, it doesn't show where um, that kind of is. Let me have a look see if I search Groudon. Maybe it might be higher. Shadow Groudon is 555. So no, it is not good. Definitely leave that out. Um, how good is it in the Master League though? So Shadow Groudon is number 21 in the Master League. Um, Mudshot, Precipitate Blades and Fire Punch. But normal Groudon is better. Um, Another Pokemon I do want for the Massey, just while we're speaking of it, is Landorus. Now, I do need to get a really good one. Um, obviously, I have that one there. Um, but I need it to have its move of Sansir Storm, which seems to be very good. Um, and the move Stone Edge. So I do need, like, another 70 candy for that. And then I need to also level it up. So we are a bit away from there. Um, but other than that, I'm actually going to leave this here. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like down below. Comment if you do enjoy your PvP um, and enjoyed this video. And also subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll speak to you all in the next one.